Today is Mission Impossible, tomorrow is Mission Impossible 2, the next day is Mission Impossible 3, and so on and so on and so on. Why? Because this is Mission Impossible Week. Yes, week. Every single Mission Impossible movie we are watching this whole week. Yay! You might be wondering why we're doing Mission Impossible Week when I don't particularly like Tom Cruise. I know he's a Mission Impossible. But I do. I have warmed to him from watching the Top Gun. So there you go. Now listen, if you are watching this on YouTube, then that means by now, every single movie, Mission Impossible movie, is already been done and they're on Patreon. So if you want to see them, then head over to Patreon because that's where they will be. And if not, don't worry, they will be uploaded every day this week. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, post notification, um, Patreon, do everything you can to make the channel grow and I will love you forever unless you're a big shat. Shat? <laughs> <laughs> Fat. Shout outs to your top tier patrons who are KG, Nathan Wolf, Robert McGregor, Adam Anta, Shrew, Daphne McLeskie, Brian Madden, Dark, Cal Kojak, Len, Anna Quad, Wayne Cryker, Robert Emmons, Les McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Marshall, Lonzo Torres, Bill Bryant, Thousands, Bush, Roger Freeman, Eric Bonham. And let's watch the first of our Mission Impossible week, <laughs> which is Mission Impossible and play. Oh, what movie is this? Now, give us the name. What? I, I thought we were watching a movie. We're not watching a movie? What? What the hell? He pulled off that mask like they did in Scooby-Doo. Oh, I thought this is the James Bond theme tune. I thought this was James Bond. Okay, I have no idea what I'm about to watch then. Confused already. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, detain photographic proof of Shadow Galitzin and apprehend them both. Well, how are you supposed to do all of it? Give him one job. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Self-destruct? What? <laughs> Amazing. So how much do you get paid then? Must be a lot. Hide in plain sight, highest possible profile. Are you game? Wouldn't have it any other way. Especially if he can wear masks like that. You can disguise in anyone. If they're exposed, they'll be executed. I'll run the whole show from the crow's nest here. Everyone knows their roles. Got it. I want it. This week he's fly fishing with one of our best Irish guides. Yeah. <laughs> this guy reminds me of Christopher Walken, just his acting style. We were living in a democracy the last time I checked. That is not a real man. You mash them together. <laughs> You'll have about five seconds. Five seconds? That's not long. Just don't chew it. Don't chew it? Oh, now I'm scared of chewing gum. Why do I watch these movies that make me scared of everything? I'm never going to be able to chew chewing gum ever again now. In case my head explodes. Of course I do. How are you, Miss Norman? He's in pocket on the stairway. Everyone else would have heard, heard, heard you say that. <laughs> Surely he would have felt that. That's so cool. No, it's in here somewhere. Now, Sergeant, why are you not in your uniform this evening? That's the guy, he was on the TV. That's the guy I said wasn't a real man, because it wasn't a real man. It's him in disguise. <laughs> wow. I like this. I like this kind of movies. I, I need, feel like I need to write it all down just in case. Just in case I ever find myself in these situations. He's heading to the denied area. She doesn't look suspicious at all. I'm opening the doors. Go under. Go. Why would you do that? You guys are nuts. Your break pops. Such a nice ass. And a lonely ass. <laughs> Have control, Jack. Oh, then I got a problem. Cut the power. Oh my god. Don't lose Jack. Come on, Jack. No. Cut the power. We're gonna lose Jack. Jack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I did not want to see that. Oh, it went right through his eyeball. Oh, we lost Jack. Jack, you copy. Jack? Man, Jack does not copy. Oh. 
That was horrendous. The package is out in the open. He's in the open. Unroped. Maybe a little bit of Gary Oldman too. Got a shadow. Can you lose him? No. Abort. Oh my god. What do we do? Help. Someone help. We're being ambushed, Ethan. Abort. That's an order. Why? Jim gave an abort. We should walk away. No, we are going to recover that disc. You need to follow orders. Cut all radio communication. Repeat. Cut all radio communication. Who's after you? Is? <laughs> What? Who did that? Abort. Repeat. Abort. And if she's going to be next, and it's going to be your fault. <laughs> all of your teammates are away to die. Them all. Apart from you. Because you are the Mission Impossible guy. How did they manage to stab you from the other side when they would have had to grab you first? How did that happen? How did you let that happen? For God's sake, I liked all of you guys. Like this whole team. <laughs> now someone else is off with the names. So that's fun. Okay, location green, one hour. I'll be there myself. Here in Prague? One hour. Well, who, the people that you were, that person you were speaking to, he's a bad guy. He's the one that's after you all. Him. He's a bad guy. We'll work the exfiltration through Canada to brief you at Langley. You follow me? Yeah, I follow. I think he's on to you. We'll see if you can follow me around the room. The drunk Russian's on the embankment at 7, 8 o'clock. Oh, yes. I did wonder. The list clerk's installed was a decoy. The actual list is secure at Langley. They all died for nothing. Wow. This whole operation was involved. Yeah. Look, the way that he just said that. And like you. You survived. So they think he's the mole? So... Why don't we... Five seconds, remember. Whoa! Well, that worked. Imagine standing outside that place and then all of a sudden there's a water explosion and a tidal wave. What are you doing? Operation you referred to as Job 314. Job 314? Well, that was handy. It stood out to you. What's that mean? What? What on earth is he doing? Thing. <gasps> Someone's walking. Could be Jim, because we didn't really see him die. Bloody hell, it's Jim! Ethan. Or are you asleep? Ethan. Ethan, it's okay. Where were you? I thought you died. I thought everyone died. I ran to the bridge. He said someone was just... They're dead! They're all dead! How did you not see any of that? If she ran to the bridge, then she would know everyone was dead. Four o'clock if we're bored, we don't return here until four o'clock. Oh, four hundred, four a.m. Is it four o'clock now? Four a.m. Okay. She seems legit. How do you know how to trust? How do you know who to trust? I said, who do you know how to trust? How do you know who to trust? Whoever the mole is, I think goes by the name of Joe. I can't find him, but if he knows I have a knock list. He'll find you. <gasps> oh, it's from Max. So we're we waiting to meet Max, the Max guy. I don't know how you even managed to message him or get a message back. That doesn't make any sense. You wish to meet Max? The price of admission. Oh, I thought you was Max. Who are you and what are you doing here? Are you Max? I want 150 thousand dollars today ah oh, no, that's quite out of the question you should ask for a lot more like a million it's certain to be equipped with a homing device to pinpoint your exact location mm -hmm. this is a fun interaction isn't it 26 27 so far so good i'd say you've got about two minutes oh i think he's telling the truth 
Here they go. 44 and 45. <laughs> now you're gonna have to trust them for the rest of the movie. Pressure points, Barnes. You find something that's personally important to him and you squeeze. His family. Got to be his family. Sorry I doubted you. Dear boy, you are a good sport. Thanks, Max. Oh, that was lovely. What was your deal with Job? Six million dollars. Your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Wait, I still don't understand how he re knew the guy was J called Job. And how did he know that he was given 120,000? Wait, she... Wait, was it 120,000 or was it 6 million? Are you sure about this? Jim was my husband. I want to get the son of a bitch who did this. Oh, he was your actual husband. I thought he was joking. <laughs> I thought he was kidding. I thought that it was like work wife and that. She is gorgeous. I can't believe that there's someone that actually is as stunning as that. I'm talking about the 686 prototypes with the artificial intelligence risk chip. I don't have a clue what any of these are talking about. Has to pass through a series of security checks, voice print identification, and a six digit access code. That's easy to get past. Could do that, no problem. This only gets him into the outer room. Next, he has to pass a retinal scan. So, record his voice, torture him until he tells you the code. Steal his eyeballs. Are only deactivated by a double electronic keycard, which we won't have. Steal his keycard, and then whoever else's keycard. Now that temperature is controlled by the air conditioning. That vent is guarded by a laser net. <laughs> madness. Absolute madness. All three systems are state of the art. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. <laughs> this is fun. What the hell's that noise? Uh, fire alarm, Gene. You should know us as it's starting. Oh, I was waiting to say who's this guy, but it must be him. Is it Tom? Uh, Ethan. Ethan Hunt. Oh, no, it's not. Who's that guy then? <laughs> Zero body count. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, wow. Impressive. <laughs> it's hilarious. This is incredible. I am so freaking impressed. Was it a knockout thing or a laxative thing that you got? <laughs> I can't help it if he sneezes. But what about the floor? Oh, you're not going to touch the floor, are you? It is silent. This is not good for my ears. And how do you make sure that it doesn't pick up your t body temperature? Laxative. It's going to have to go at the pooper. He's gonna, is he going to catch you in there? As you're going back up again, he'll be like, Hey, come back here. Oh my God. Oh, he's going to see you in the, the reflection on the floor. <laughs> you're going to drip a sweat on him. <laughs> Straight back down. This is actually amazing. It must be able to hear all that little noises, the clicks and everything. Oh God, I really hope you pull it off. I'm not blessed. What, is that all the names? That's a lot of people. A rat, a bloody rat. We didn't bother me, but if it was a frog on the other hand, you'd be down and I'd be out of there. You're gonna have to like bite it, grab it and kill it so it doesn't make any noise. Oh, 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 Oh my god! That was crazy! Here he 
comes. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, oh, catch it. Quickly, quickly. It's not going to matter anymore. Just go, go now. Get moving. If the alarms go off, it doesn't matter. Jesus. Miss. Oh, but it's okay because he's signed in, so it's not going to trigger anything. Because he's... Yeah. Oh, but he's going to see it. He sees it. Shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, it's gone, it went away. You've never seen this trick. <laughs> His face. Give this time, the plaza. Drake Hotel, Chicago. Oh. So did the gym guy, did he know about this the whole time then? Has he set all of this up? I'm sorry, we did what we had to do. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Bet she misses her husband. I still don't fully trust her. She's lying about something. She's too pretty to be innocent. <laughs> Krieger did have the knockers? Yeah, the whole time. It's your job tomorrow on the train. Don't let this knock list get out in the open. That's a big job for one man. Federal agents claim to have found the brains behind an international drug ring. Oh no, it's his family. ...by Margaret Ethan Hunt mm -hmm. and her brother-in-law Donald Hunt. I told you that was going to happen. Why don't you tell me? Hang up. He knows he's got a tough family. They'll be fine. But what if it, What if they kill them? Because that'll be the next thing. Who the hell is this? It's Jim! You're a hard man to catch up with. <coughs> oh my god, it's Jim! He's still alive. I told you, if you don't see them die. Once you turned up in England, it was easy. You know I like the rentals of Liverpool Street. Hey. It's the girl now, it's the girl we don't trust. And I think Jim's gonna tell us. It was Kittredge. Kittredge. Kittredge, Ethan. Well, who's that? The guy that you've been talking to? I shot you on the bridge. <gasps> it's you! How? Why? I liked you! You're a piece of work, you. Oh. Sick. God, sick. You and your wife are in it together. Uh huh. So, what is all this about? Why is he doing it? Why is he trying to get his hands on the list? For what reason? So he can sell it and retire. Worth upgrading. You've got a lousy marriage. 62 grand a year. Is that it? Is that all you were getting paid? God knows what she's had to do to forget me, to keep going. She can't know about me, Ethan. She already knows, though. I thought you were in it together. We're on for tomorrow. Okay. How well lit up she is in the, that dingy corner. She's like an angel. Can't believe Jim was the bad guy the whole time. I need to stop trusting all the old men. How long for the London Terminus? 20, 25 minutes. We've got 10 minutes, whoa! Wait, do we, does Ethan know that it was him? Or do we just know that it was him? And Ethan, and we were seeing it as his mind, Jim's mind, or were we seeing it in Ethan's mind? What about Joe? Wouldn't worry about him when you get the money. He'll find you. Job is him. Jim, isn't it? I'm so confused. We don't need to know. If he's got that list, he's going to want to check it in. Laptops. Most people will have a laptop, will they not? Kittredge is on the train. I'm right behind you. The money's in the baggage car. I'll meet you there. What? All that millions is just on the train with them? We take the money. Ethan takes the blame. No one else has seen you alive. Everyone's about to see him alive. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Busted. Well, well, well. Just exactly when he knew is something of a question. Mind telling me, Ethan? Before or after I showed up in London? Before London. Before? 
I was never convinced her charms would work on you, but I was supremely confident, having tasted the goods. <laughs> this is disgusting, man. <laughs> the goods. Give her the money. Wait, what's that's not money. Morning, Mr. Phelps. <gasps> bitch. It's over, Jim. I can't believe you're calling him a son bitch when it's you. Don't Jim. Whoa! He bloody shot her. His own wife. Why did he not shoot you? Whoa! <laughs> Watch your head! Holy crap! <laughs> that must be terrifying. I mean, how fast must that train be going? It's not possible for, for you to do that. <laughs> you can't do anything. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it went under. It went under. I thought it was going to explode. Whoa. I can't understand how he's managing to control the helicopter inside a tunnel. He's got a smile on his face. Oh, you tit. Ha ha. Oh, he's got more. But where are you going to go? Holy crap, you almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down. Hey, I know you. I've seen you before. Hello, Max. Aww. My mom was a little confused how the DEA could mistake her and Uncle Donald for a couple of dope smugglers. She must know it's got something to do with you. I'm gonna miss being disreputable. Well, Luther, if it makes you feel any better, I'm always thinking that way. Aww. <laughs> Buddies. Excuse me, Mr. Hunt. Would you like to watch a movie? Oh, Jesus. What next? Would you consider the cinema of the Caribbean? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ah, wow. I didn't think I would ever love a movie like that, but oh my God, I loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved all the little crazy ways how they like sneaked into the place and, and, all, the, and all the technological stuff and, and all the genius things that they have going on in their heads. I just loved everything. It was amazing. I think he, that Tom Cruise, I am very much warming to him. But it's hot now. It's pretty hot. And isn't it funny how the first thing I saw him in, or maybe the second thing, there was a couple of things and I was like, nah, I'm just not a fan. But now we could be a fan. Do you know what's really funny as well? And I've noticed at a few movies that I know the theme song of the movie and I haven't seen the movie because obviously I've heard this before the dun 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 but I thought that was James Bond which is why I thought I knew it because everyone knows who James Bond is so what's the James Bond one then? so it just shows you how much an epic theme tune probably goes further than the movie does because if I haven't seen any of the movies but I've heard all the theme tunes. That's my theory. The music, what the music does, far outweighs what the movie does. <laughs> it's my philosophy. I am a philosopher now. Right, if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up. If you plan to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. You have to, because guess what? We will be doing more weeks. Psst, we are doing one in August. I'm not telling you what it is yet, but we're definitely doing one. So if you want to see that, Subscribe, get those post notifications on. If you want to see it a week early, the whole week a week early, then you have to go to Patreon and the link will be in the description box below. Oh, I, di I didn't do, did I not do best movie ever? Best movie ever. I forgot to do it. Oh God, God.
Oh, I, I need to do a prediction right now, okay. Because I predicted that every single Western was going to be the best movie ever, and I was right. Five out of seven. I'm going to give these five Mission Impossible movies out of seven, best movie ever. That's my prediction. We will see by the end of it if I'm right. I'm always right. Now I am off. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.